take pretty much that off again. He's at Biedermann's world record, 1.21. And he's 17. I never thought anybody would say we'd be getting close to Biedermann's world record in the 200 freestyle. So the women's 1500 metres freestyle final. That is coming your way next. The pace won't be quite so hot, but it's going to be just as exciting. And fantastic to see the great Katie Ledecky up and down the pool here against Simona Quattarella who won the title three years ago. Lane eight now from Chile. It's the 36-year-old Crystal Cobridge. She's been competing at the World Championship level since Barcelona 2003. Here's uh, Vivian Jungblatt. She is uh, a 25-year-old from Brazil. Two Brazilians in this field. Her teammate here is Beatrice De Zotti, the 22-year-old, was 24th place getter at the Olympic Games last year in this event. And there are two Australians in the field as well. And in lane number two, this is a big moment for 25-year-old Moesha Johnson. Lani Pallister from Australia in six. She won three gold medals in this pool at the Junior World Championships three years ago, including this 1500 freestyle. Now here's Katie Grimes. She was good against uh, Ledecky in the heat. She's only 16 years of age. She was fourth in the 800 in Tokyo Olympics. The defending world champion, it's Simona Quattarella from Italy, the 23-year-old. Owns the national record at 15 minutes 40. And here is the great Katie Ledecky trying to suppress the smile. You might as well smile when you get that sort of adulation. Katie Ledecky, who won the 8 and 1500 metre double in Tokyo, the world record holder, 25 years of age, 16 world championship gold medals, and the raging hot favourite here. Ledecky, Quadarella, four and five. Grimes and Pallister. Johnson and Dezotti on either side of them. And Jungblatt and Cobridge in the outside lanes. So away we go in the 1500 metres with Katie Ledecky. It's a case of the others, uh, I guess, uh, trying to match her and then seeing what is left in the tank later on. Pallister is off the blocks nicely and the yellow cap there in uh, lane number six, one of the two Australians. And she's uh, probably our early leader as uh, they go up towards this first 50. Ledecky and Pallister, and on the other side, it's Grimes. Yeah, good speed early from Pallister. We saw her place fourth in the 400 free final a couple of nights ago in a personal best time. So performing well on the international stage is young Pallister. She's trying to go with Ledecky early in this 1500 freestyle. Now, normally what we see from Ledecky in these longer freestyle races is she's just got too much speed and almost guts as well to go out to attack these races and go out hard through the first 500 metres or so. She'll, she's just off her own world record pace there. She'll put the foot down early, see if anybody can go with her. You can see how spread out that field is already through the first two laps. And then through the second half of the race, normally what we have seen is people like Grimes and Quattarella and a few others actually swim the same sort of split times as Ledecky. But, so she does her damage early. And right now, Pallister just falling into third. And it's... Uh, it's Grimes that's hanging onto the feet of Ledecky. We'll keep our eye on the world record line, but we won't get too excited for a while because uh, they've completed only 150 of 1,500 metres. A lot can change in that uh, time. But for the record, the world record that Ledecky holds was set in Indianapolis in May of 2018. So it's uh, 15 
20.48. Championship record as well. And, uh, of course, the world junior record, not surprisingly, she set that in 2014. So they go now through the 200-metre mark. Now, let's have a look at uh, the positions as they go through. Ledecky leads, Grimes in second, Pallister in third, Quattarella in fourth, then Johnson, and then it's to Zotti, Jungblatt, and Cobridge. It's the order after around 225 metres. Yes, she is under world record pace, in fact. There's the line now. She's going to turn ahead of it again at the 250 metre mark. So still a long way to go in this race. But what I feel Ledecky's trying to do here in Budapest or show everybody here in Budapest is that she's back to her best. She's already swimming quicker than what she did in Tokyo last year. She's made a coaching change to move to the University of Florida to train with the distance men's team over there. So I feel like she does want to make a statement swim here. She won the 400 freestyle a few nights ago in a reasonably fast time for her standards. It was a championship record, but it was a little bit off her personal best. And obviously she recently lost that world record to her arch rival Ariane Titmus at the Australian titles. Now she's more than half a second under world record here early. So clearly she's trying to attack this one again from the front and maybe she's got world record on her mind. We'll see over the next, uh, what, 12 minutes or so, thereabouts. And uh, we'll see if she's trying to break the field early. I mean, that was inevitable. It was bound to happen at some stage. But uh, perhaps the, she's got her eye on the clock as well as she goes through 350, three quarters of a second under world record pace. Very good swim once again by her 16-year-old teammate there in Katie Grimes. She's uh, there in lane number three. You can see the two Americans now. Ledecky on the left, Grimes on the right. And back there in third place, swimming a very good race, is Alani Pallister. She is uh, in lane number six, the 20-year-old Australian. Fourth uh, would be her teammate there, Moesha Johnson. And uh, then there's a bit of a gap to the rest of them. So through the 400, under world record pace by 0.63, Katie Ledecky. Yeah, she's not letting up at the moment through the first 400. So out on her own now. She just needs to uh, keep that rhythm, stay mentally engaged as they come up to the, this is the 450, but after the 500 meter mark, we're in that middle third of the race, the middle 500. That's the important one where you've really got to establish that rhythm and that stroke rate to make sure that it doesn't waver as you start to fatigue before you get to that last third, the last 500, and you can start counting down the laps to the sprint home. But um, it's all Ledecky now. She's uh, improved her kick a lot since making the move to Florida. You can see to her just floating the legs behind her in this longer race, but we will see her start to kick a little bit more through the last 500 metres. But um, in previous years, she really wasn't, she was just dragging her legs along behind her and just didn't have a strong kick, which then enables you to change gears and switch speeds. So that's something that um, she needs to improve on if she wants to match it with swimmers like Titmus in the shorter events. So we'll keep an eye on the clock. She's under world record pace. That world record I mentioned, 15.20.48. That uh, broke her own previous world record of 15.25. In fact, she's uh, broken the record now on six occasions. And uh, initially, she recorded a time, 15.36.53. Well, she's taken that down by about 16 seconds since uh, she first broke Katie Ziegler's record. That was... Uh, Back in 2013, Ziegler, a former record holder, Janet Evans wanted to, broke it a couple of times. Tracy Wickham of Australia broke it a couple of times as well. Jenny Turrell, Shane Gould, some big, big names there. So through the 600, now let's have a look. She's just backed off a touch now, outside world record pace. 16 one hundredths of a second through the 600 metre mark. Uh, Grimes is in second, then Pallister remains in third. Quattarella is in fourth ahead of Johnson. Yeah, there's the aerial shot. Good battle for silver between Pallister and Grimes. And again, if Ledecky wasn't in this race, we'd be talking about 16-year-old Grimes being the fastest in the world. And Quattarella, the, the defending world champ in the bottom yellow lane, has a bit of work to do if she wants to be in that race for the medals come the last couple hundred metres. But they've cleared out ahead of Quattarella and Johnson. 
But right now, Ledecky, she's just over world record pace. So those split times, she's just in that 31 lows now. So they just ticked over from 30 point highs to 31 lows. So those 0.1 or 0.2 of a second on every single lap, it starts to add up when you've got to do a race that's 30 laps long. And um, the world record is 15.20. It's really, really fast. Um, from back in 2018, she hasn't broken 15.29 really in the last two to three years. So I think if she gets anything under 15.29, 15.28 or faster, that'd be a pretty confidence-boosting performance here after making a major training move. And she won the Olympics last year in a time of 15.35. Well, she's going to go much quicker than 15.35 tonight. She's spot on the halfway mark now, and uh, she's three-quarters of a second outside world record pace. Now, Lani Pallister has taken over from Katie Grimes, and she is second at the moment. Grimes in third placing, and uh, Johnson the second of the Australians. So it's two Americans and two Australians in the top four. Yeah, the distance swimming coming back in the uh, the powerhouse nations of the United States and Australia. You see Ledecky there moving at 1.55 metres per second. It's just dropping a little bit into the wall and Pallister at 1.53, but that is moving quicker than her than Grimes, which she's in a race for at the moment. So these new graphics showing the speed that they're moving is important. They go faster coming off the wall. When they get that push off the wall, it's actually faster than swimming on top of the water so it's all about holding your streamline and maintaining that speed for the full 50 metre lap before you get that turn again. She comes up now to the 850 metre mark. You see the gap between the uh, leader here, Ledecky, and then Pallister in second and Grimes in third. And in terms of the clock, well, we'll get a better idea as they go down at the 900 metre mark. Uh, what a record for this fantastic swimmer, Katie Ledecky. She's looking for a 17th World Championship gold medal, three silvers, and yet to get a bronze. She uh, wins most of them. And seven Olympic Games gold medals as well. So it's a, an unbelievable record. Through the 900 metre mark, now she's two, almost two and a half seconds off world record pace. A strong race being swum here by the young Australian debutante, Lani Pallister. She's in second place. And Grimes, who really took it to Ledecky in the heat, she's in third at the moment. Johnson, the second of the Australians, lane two. She is holding down fourth. Yeah, Ledecky just falling off pace a little bit, still holding that 1.55 metres per second through the water. They're coming up towards the 1,000 metre mark. So there it is, that middle 500 metres. You just see the difference between being under world record pace and now being almost three seconds over from what she did back in 2018. So she's just fallen off a little bit. We'll see if she can bring the legs in a little bit more after this 1,000 metre mark to, uh, to change her pace and try and get these split times back down under 31 seconds. Turning here at the 1,000, three and a half seconds over world record pace, 10.18. 10.18, so she is looking for something under 15.30. And Pallister building up a nice little buffer over Katie Grimes in that race for silver. There's uh, little doubt about who's going to claim the gold medal here. As we look down the pool and there's no one in sight. It's Ledecky and then plenty of water before we find Lani Pallister and Katie Grimes and Moesha Johnson after that. She goes through 1,050 now. Yes, the world record well and truly slipping away now. Four and a quarter seconds. But it's an unbelievable mark. That uh, record 15-20-48 set in Indianapolis four years ago. And uh, she may have had that on her mind, but I'm sure she's uh, going to be pretty happy by recording an excellent time here. So she goes down now towards the turn at the 1,100 metre mark. Ledecky, look at the margin. Now Grimes has taken it back on level terms pretty much with Pallister. She might just about turn in second place. Grimes over Pallister, not too much between them. Well, officially it was still Pallister as they got to the wall. Johnson remains in fourth. Yeah, Grimes had just outsplit Pallister by almost a full second on that lap. So 
We'll see what happened to Pallister there or if she's uh, she's starting to hit the wall. But Ledecky out in front, you can see her just trying to build the legs a little bit more. She's just starting to kick a little bit more out of the turns and probably every 10 strokes or so, they're just floating behind her there. It's almost like she's got a pool boy in and barely even kicking. And then there we go, a little six beat kick cycle. Back into the two beat kick just drifting and dragging those legs behind her and then there'll be a little kick here coming up da -da -da -da. no she's left me hanging she's left a few swimmers hanging too over the course of her career she's got now 300 to go katie ledecky now officially in second place it's the 16 year old american grimes over pallister you see now johnson in fourth placing and the surprise here really is Quattarella, the defending champion from Italy in lane five, and she really hasn't been sighted after the first hundred or so. Yeah, a little bit off is Quattarella, and it is tough when she just doesn't have the speed to match the Aussies and the Americans through the first part of the race. And um, Ledecky now seven seconds over pace, so it's around 15.27. We'll see if she can... Um, there's the American coaches cheering her on, and... They're also trying to push on Katie Grimes into that silver medal winning position. But um, all the swimmers watching the great Katie Ledecky do her business here. So we have just over 200 metres remaining in the women's 1500 metres final. And this race has been dominated by the great Katie Ledecky from the outset. She leads. It's her teammate, the 16-year-old Katie Grimes, in second place. And a really good swim by the Australian debutante there, Lani Pallister. She's holding down third in front of her Australian teammate, Moesha Johnson. But this has been a terrific swim by... Katie Ledecky. She was under world record pace for about five, six hundred metres. She just backed off a touch. It's still going to be a remarkable time for this remarkable swimmer. Ten years at the top of distance swimming for Katie Ledecky. Still only 25 years of age, but her form is not wavering. She's won this event three times before at the world championship level. Bypassed the race in 2019 and she looks to claim that world title again. And she's coming down now to get the bell. 100 to go for Katie Ledecky. What a swim, a dominant swim it's been. As she pushes off the wall, you get an indication of the speed she's going at as she settles into a rhythm. Katie Grimes, 16 years of age. You'll hear a lot about her over the years. So too Lani Pallister, who holds down third. Fourth place, still Johnson. But it's all about Katie Ledecky here with just over 50 to swim. Yeah, coming into the last turn. She's really laid off those legs for the back part of the race. There it is. Here's the sprint. We'll see what she can come home. The crowd's cheering her on now. The great Katie Ledecky, 25 to swim. She's already won the 400. And she's about to win yet another 1,500 metres world title. Ledecky, a dominant performance here. A few strokes to go. And Katie Ledecky comes in and claims world championship gold medal number 17. What a swim. What a star. Grimes, a future star, coming in to take the silver medal. And the bronze going to Pallister of Australia. Johnson coming in now to finish fourth. An excellent swim there. And here in lane five, the lady who won the title in Guangzhou three years ago, Simona Quattarella. Really pumped there was Katie Ledecky. It's a emotional response to claiming gold that we don't normally see from the distance great i think she had that 15 30 mark in her head as a goal time to try and hit it's five seconds quicker than what she swam in tokyo last year to win that race at the olympic games so a real return to form and a big payoff after making a move to change coaches and training locations over to the University of Florida. 
and the young stars of Grimes and Pallister, they try to match her through that first part of the race, but it didn't last too long, only about two or 300 metres before we saw Ledecky start to clear out the field. And she just drifted off those legs to save it for the last 50 metre sprint. And she came home quick, it's a 29.5. Last 50 split for Ledecky, so she's trying to learn to change gears and finish with some more speed than what she's done in previous races. So we're seeing some new tricks for the old dog. See what a win it was. So she won at the World Championships this event. Back in Barcelona, 20, that was a great win. She Ledecky. just keeps on winning. You are just freestyle. I love the musical accompaniment as uh, the medalists come out. Did they do that for you when you won your gold medal? It wasn't live, that's for sure. The live <laughs> music is something new that that everybody in the arena is enjoying. So, Mr. Roberto Coletto. Uh, assisted here by Mr. Shanda, chair of the FINA organising committee and uh, an Olympic champion. medal there going the way of Lani Pallister. Really good result for her. She was holding down second for probably half of the race. Initially she trailed Grimes in third placing but she worked away into second and she was there until probably about 300 to go. Yeah, and huge personal best time there as well by six seconds for Pallister. So really well deserved after the setback she's had in the past couple of years to now find herself on a world championship podium katie grimes two really good 1500 meter swims in the space of 36 hours here just 16 is grimes We're getting younger and younger she uh, placed fourth in the 800 free last year in Tokyo as a 15-year-old. So just huge potential coming out of the US and around the world with uh, these young teenagers swimming world-class times. And Katie Ledecky. Another gold medal for her. It's her fourth, in fact, yes, her fourth 1500 meter world title. She won in Barcelona in 2013, Kazan in 2015, and here in Budapest in 2017. She didn't swim the event in Guangzhou, but she swims it here, and once again, she comes away with gold.
Congratulations to all the swimmers. And Katie Ledecky, of course, with yet another World Championship gold medal. Her 17th, Grimes her first silver, and Pallister her first bronze. It's going to be interesting to see what Katie Ledecky does over the next few years, 25 years of age. Mature for a swimmer, but uh, by no means old. old. We see uh, Katinka Hoshu at 33. The Brazilian men, of course, in their mid to late 30s. In one case, 42. She's got a long time if she wants.